All right. Let's see what changed. This is a balance update. You will not find mechanical differences like usually there's no bug fixes and reworks and things that require the engine to work differently because it's just uh, tuning, numbers tuning. They have two kinds of patches. This is one of them. This is the, let's say the simple one where they just need to change numbers. So let's see what has been balanced up and down. Now we see that there's about 12 heroes in the list, roughly six, 12, yeah. And I'm just gonna do a thing that I usually do is add a few bug fixes. Okay, well, I didn't read it yet. All right, bug fixes too, got it. All right, so I'm just gonna do the thing that I usually do. I look at the heroes and I try to make a prediction whether the hero got buffed or nerfed before I read it. Alarak will probably get nerfed a little bit. Cassia, I would say they take some power out of charge strikes and add it to different things. Ragnaros, I would say buff on meteor build maybe and nerf on Q build. Or maybe a buff to lava wave and a nerf to Sephora smash. That's probably what I would do. Uh, Samuro, uh, I'm going to guess a rebalancing of different talents and his power. Uh, if they can manage it without a rework, I think maybe it will be buff at master's level and nerf at below masters because that's what he needs and it's not easy but let's see if they succeed so Jin recently got a nerf it pushed him from 52 to 49 percent win rate i think he could benefit from a little bit of talent diversity as the auto attack talents are the best so i would imagine zuljin to get a little bit more spell power ability talent buffs and maybe auto attack down more i don't know Probius, I would say, flat out nerf because he's doing very well. Tassadar, hard to predict. His win rate is very low and he's also not really being used in competitive anymore. So I'm going to say it's going to be across the board buff. Taronda, I think the rework wasn't entirely successful. So what I noticed with Taronda, at the beginning, I'm always out of mana. And then at the end, I have infinity mana. So I would say maybe they did something with that. Anubrak, I'm going to say across the board nerf. And I hope that they touch specifically Cocoon. Maybe cooldown up or range down. The Haka dropped a lot in win rate, so I'm going to guess just a slight 3% buff to things for him. ETC dropped a lot in win rate as well, but he still has a very powerful kit, so I'm just going to say 3% up in HP. Uh, Diva is doing pretty okay, she has a win rate that is steadily on the rise. I'm going to say she's going to get a small nerf across the board. 3% should do it. All right, let's see how it is. Alarak. Less damage on 15 heroes. Less damage on two heroes and more on the final cast. On the three cast. And this across the board is a buff leading to 180. That up from 180. Across the board, this is not a buff. Okay. So they put more in the completion of the quest and less per tier. I think that's a good change. Makes him even more... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it turns out 3 times 60 is the same as 50 plus 50 plus 80. Pretty good. Uh, show of force, uh, what was that? Oh yes, if you hit three abilities on the same... <laughs> Stop it, guys. If you hit three abilities on the same thing, you get 70 bonus damage. It was the worst. I think it's still the worst. The buff would be, therefore... Uh, justified. Pure Malice was 6% up to 30, now it's 10 up to 40. Hmm. That's gonna make it a little bit more attractive compared to Rites of Rux here. 5% uh, instead of 6% per kill. Okay. Fair enough. I was wrong. It's not an across the board nerf. It's a little bit of uh, reworks. Um to kind of just rebalance his talents. Cassia. Aha! I did, I was right. They took some power out of charge strikes, but they didn't add anything anywhere else. I think that's fair enough. Before, you could hit the keep and it would splash the people very far away because it took, you attack the center, but it takes the edge of the hitbox to spread the auto attacks. So you would have a far greater effective area of effect 
if you attack a keep than if you attack a minion or a hero because they have a very small hitbox. That was broken. They could have fixed it differently, but I think this works just fine. I think it's a good change. Bonus damage upon quest completion from 100 to a 90. That's a nerf. Health regen reduced from one. And a, okay, that's a nerf. And that's a nerf. Okay, small nerfs across the board. I think that's okay. He still saw competitive play. He's still pretty okay in ladder. And he still has objective uh, power, anti-objective, both when there's a push as well as controlling it from very far away. I think that's okay. But he w I wouldn't say that he was necessarily OP, but if you compare him to Samuro, then, well, if you want to bring him a bit down to Samuro, his level, then that's fine. Not really what I was looking for. It's a nerf on the cooldown of Windwalk and an increase in the duration. So cancelling out his Windwalk has a greater than before, before effect. Not too pleased about it personally, but it cannot be denied that Samura's win rate at Diamond and below is still very high. So the community basically needs to get good and uh, counter him like they do at Masters. He's a very fun hero to play, but not the uh, very winningest at Masters. I suspect that with how small of a change this is, even more so it indicates that maybe there'll be some changes to him in the future. Aha! Once cast, the X is falling. That's a good thing. Because uh, sometimes he would throw it in the air, he would die and it wouldn't land. That's weird, isn't it? What comes up must come down. Okay. Less damage on Disruption Pulse, less damage on Pylon Overcharge. Less movement speed within pylon range. More damage from this, but overall it's still less, I would say. Or maybe slightly more if you take this one. Um, they nerfed the shield, which was the most popular and the best. And they increased the damage. So a rebalancing here and a taking away of power mostly here. Since his win rate was very high, I think that's a good change. And I think he's still strong. But this one in particular is fairly harsh nerf that despite the recent buffs to Nullgate, I would say is slightly over the top since Nullgate still I think isn't good enough. I don't think it was used in HTC at all once I believe in NA by Faye. But then uh, anything goes there. Base attack damage increase, that's a significant buff. That's a significant buff. Well, that's a significant buff. So this is true, according to my predictions. Goes up in value. Taronda. Sentinel width. That's good. That's good, because it was really hard to hit. Uh, basic attack, uh, basic attacks. Required per increase. Crest reward now, 50 attacks instead of 60. These two were the least useful, comparatively. Okay. This was also not the most popular. Okay. Some uh, buffs across the board and Shadow Stalk can be used every 20. Fair enough. Let's see how it shakes out. Extra Thick Owl. No. Cooldown increase. Better Barbies, less slow. Epicenter, less CDR. Now this will hit his popular talents at pro play and ladder. So this is a nerf. I don't think it's necessarily big enough, but this in particular will make it a little bit easier to punish a new uh, after he charges in and this one as well. So that's something. Maybe it's not enough, but at least it's something. Dark Swarm lasts longer in general. You now have two instead of one second of post brush movement speed. And 20% instead of 15. And then they make this one from 1 to 3. Instead, it goes from 2 to 5. Interesting. Nice. Okay. That's fair enough. I think that's good. One, one second of movement speed is nothing, really. <laughs> what the hell? Why do I have an emote for this? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I do have uh, an extension installed that makes... Twitch emotes look like faces. 
<laughs> nine? Really? Anyway. Uh, so boosters will be nine instead of ten. And you can cancel it after half a second instead of one. That's good because it felt clunky to cancel it. I like that. Hit the knight. No! <laughs> hey, why does it say 375 when in Heroes of the Storm it said 475? Anyway, no matter what, 50% off of that. Oh. Lesson 1. Reading comprehension. Read the whole thing. Yeah, okay. Understand. So it goes from 475 to three uh, to 425. Okay. A little bit of a nerf. It was the best. I'm still going to use it proper, proper, pro pro properly. Properly. Pro. Pro. Pro moves. Okay. All right. This is part of the defense matrix build. You would want pro moves at one. Um, it will make it a little bit better. Oh, well. This was the most popular. It's, by the way, it's very freaking hard to know what it's going to activate on. Since it matters on levels, people's talents, people's heroes, your level, your HP, and so on. So... This is pretty difficult to judge. I would say this is a huge change. Maybe maybe end up taking the shield, the second pick. The shield when you take lethal. Did you well played? Damage bonus reduced from 75 to 50%. Well, that's fair. It was too much. Diva's win rate has risen steadily since release, as most of our new heroes do, and secured a position as the number one mech in the Nexus. Wait, is that true? Competing with what? Mecha Dahaka, Mecha Anubarak, definitely not true there. And of course, uh, Sergeant Hammer, poor Sergeant Hammer. These adjustments will help boosters feel better to use, and even out the viability of talents. Ablative was triggering a lot more than we thought it should. Alright, fair enough. Mecha Tossadar online! Alright. Attack speed increased from 1 to 125 per second. That's pretty huge. That's pretty huge. Pretty huge. Huge. Aggressive shredding. Cooldown reduction per basic attack reduced. Fair enough, since, you know, he's faster. Okay. Huge. And bug fixes. Okay, so they didn't buff his survivability as I thought. Instead, giving a lot more... Auto attacks. Huge. <laughs> Coffee for huge. Yep. <laughs> wow. Li Ming's critical mass and Caesar's marksman will now get correct takedown credit for Diva's mech. Interesting. Yay! It's the return of the potato! Let's test it immediately. This is pretty huge. Yes! Alright, thanks for watching my patch notes review. Now it's time to get to the nitty gritty of it. Start playing some ranked. The conquest begins.